Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Dre, aka Pluto. Um, I'm sorry I've been inactive. My computer's been broken for like two weeks now, and just got back like five days ago. And yeah, I'm making a tutorial on shiny motion track 3D text or any object, um, such as this right here is Pluto Presents. See how it's shiny and reflective? Well, yeah, we're gonna do this up in Cinema 4D. So I have my motion track all tracked and set up with the text with and the materials so you can either pause the video until you get caught up you know all right so first things first um oh let me tell y'all how to get the black the black um inside and the orange on the outside so all you gotta do is um you get your two materials right and you have the black one and the orange one you click and you drag the black one on top of the orange one and then it's a pop-up so you go over to selection and you type in a capitalized C and the number one and then there you go there you have it all right so for the shiny text go into this uh, square click and hold it and then go over to spear and this should pop up and all you gotta do is um, center it with your text um, hold up center it with your text Jesus. And once it's covered up, um, go to the scale tool and drag it all the way up till it covers the screen. All right, so that's looking good. All right, so now you want to right-click the spear, go to Cinema 4D tags, then go over to Compositing and click that. So now you want to click Compositing Background, and then uncheck Scene by Camera. Okay, that's all. Now go. You want to um go find a material you put in the background so you can see the like the map of the background. You click on that and drag it to your spear. So this was like it will cause the text to reflect around the map. Uh, you know, yeah. And so you see how around the edges of the orange, you see how it's uh reflective. And that's basically it to be honest. Um, if you wanted um if you want to like the uh, black to be more reflective all you have to do is go to the material you use double click it go over to reflection and you know just turn up the brightness let me see 63 that should be pretty good this is you put up higher let me see let's do 100 see what that looks like see how it's reflected on the map you can see the reflection on the ground but yeah guys oh if you want it to look even brighter let me see I have my um, custom Lightroom I use. Uh, one second ago. Okay, so guys, sorry about that. My Cinema 4D crash. Well, I tried to import my um, Lightroom, so I'm gonna try it one more time. So I have my um, exclusive Lightroom that I use. Um, I wish I could get it off for free, but I'm selling it. I mean, it's pretty cheap, like two dollars or three dollars, and it's it's pretty much really worth it. So. I would suggest you uh, buy if you really want it for the motion tracks to look better, nice and lightning and clean. Um, God damn it. But yeah. Pretty much that's all you guys. That's all you have to do. Um, So yeah. Uh, if you have any questions or concern, just add me on Skype. I'll have it in the description. Leave a comment. Like. If you're new to my channel, sub. I would do have more. Um tutorials out so look on that and I'm working on a huge community montage uh, it'll probably be like a month till I get it done because I have like 30 something clips and I'm still getting more clips so yeah peace out niggas